Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I style my hair. I have a shag ish haircut i would say it's a pretty it's a shag i mean the way i ask for my haircut and stuff i ask for it to be pretty shaggy um which means i have a lot of higher layers and then i do have bangs um and i just had a lot of requests recently on how i style it so i thought i would share this is literally how my hair looks I put it in a towel, uh, like a microfiber towel when I get out of the shower and then I do my makeup and I get ready and then I always do my hair last. Like I haven't even brushed it out yet. What I need to do now is re-wet it. I try and re-wet it around my root area um, because obviously like it just parts how it normally parts. Um, so I have to re-wet the root area and then I'll go through and re-wet my, re re my hair. Um, and then I'll brush it out and share with you guys kind of everything that I do and how I style it, the products that I use and stuff like that. I just use this plain brush. I got this from TJ Maxx and I'll just brush through my hair. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and be smarter than me, make your life easier and get a spray bottle. I am going to wet my bangs um, in my sink because I like to make my life hard apparently. My hair is all soaked up you can also do your makeup and everything first i like to do my hair last because i always style my hair just based off my outfit and kind of how i'm feeling but yeah you can do whatever order you like there's i don't think it's specific order you have to do this is just what i like to do um anyway so i rewet my hair and i'm just gonna scrunch up the sides a little bit um i have a natural wave which I actually like never really knew I had. I just feel like I always just assumed I had really straight hair and I would just blow dry it straight constantly after showers anyways. Um, so I never really tried to even like embrace this part of my hair. But yeah, anyways, Kelsey, my hairstylist, I will link all of her stuff down below and the salon I go to. She is like the first hairstylist I have that actually, I feel like cares about me and cares about my hair and the maintenance of it and stuff. And she's just really helped me learn the kind of hair I have, the texture of it, the thickness of it, how to style it, like products that will work good for it and all of that. And I really appreciate that with a hairstylist. I kind of look like um, Lydia, Lydia Dietz. It's kind of a vibe right now, but anyways. All right, so it's all soaked. I soak all the way up to my roots. And then, um, oh, that was not a good part. Hold on. Let me repart my hair. And then we can go through. Ah! I have everything sitting on my bath tray right now so I can get good lighting for you guys. Okay. All right, we'll part that. And do a little scrunching. We are going to style just like my wave first and then we'll do my bangs next. But my two favorite products that I have been introduced to by my hairstylist are one, this Kevin Murphy. Uh, hair resort spray. This is just like a salty spray that kind of helps my waves find themselves and just kind of helps them keep and find their shape. And then this is the Colt and King Styling Forming Lotion, which is really awesome. If I'm looking for a really full wavy look and I want it to hold and stay throughout the day, I love using this. If I'm just having a chill day, I don't want a lot of product in my hair or anything, I will just resort to this and not put any type of styling creams or anything in it. Both products are really great and we're going to use both today. Um, because obviously I want to show you guys just kind of everything. So I just kind of go through and spray. And then also I sleep on this side. So one of my sides falls a little flatter than the rest. So sometimes I'll have to re-wet my hair and give it a couple tries. Um, today it's kind of working out kind of nice. Okay. And I try to do a lot of scrunching up at my roots because we want that volume. It makes the shag just shaggier. Now I'm gonna use the styling cream. I do each side, like one side of my head first before the other. So I just have about that much. And I'm just going to brush it through, find the back, and also just kind of help find that scrunch. I love the scrunches. I love them so much. Uh, I also know that like, I think that if you over scrunch, you can make it pretty frizzy. I like when my hair kind of has a little bit of frizz to it and it's like a little crazy. Um, I just feel like it looks better in my opinion on me. Um, but obviously there's probably like nicer 
wavy girl hair tutorials out there that are different from what I have if you have like a different type, type of haircut or texture of hair. Um, obviously, I'm just doing what I've been taught for my hair. Um, but yeah, and then I'll just do that. And that's how it looks once I do all of that. Give you guys like a little turn. How's that? Was that, was that okay? And honestly, when you're learning this, like it's a lot of trial and error too, I will say that this all did not come super easy for me. I really had to watch my hairstylist. I ask her a million questions every single time I get my hair done. Like, oh, like what do you recommend like for this technique or how did you get it to fall like that? I can't do that at home. And she'll really walk me through and show me and just give me like her technique and how she does it. And I find that extremely helpful. Now that I'm done with like the base of like my whole head, I like to find the face framing pieces and stuff that I like out. Sorry, you guys, I'm doing this in like my phone and my viewfinder, so of my camera, because I'm trying to do a vlog and a TikTok right now. I'm also not doing it in front of me because I'm trying to make sure I can give you guys the best lighting I can give you. There we go. Um, so that way, hopefully, this video can be as helpful as possible. Okay, and then I'll just literally claw clip that. And if anything happens with the claw clip in the waves, then I'll just go through. And I will just re-wet them and redo everything I just showed you guys. I really like the style pair because you can do that. Like, throughout the day, if, like, anything's falling, like, I can just come in wet my hair, spray a little more stuff, or get a little bit more styling cream, and just we go in at it, and it's really, really nice. Okay, now we're moving on to bangs. My favorite product with my bangs is this liquid spell reinforcing bodifying fluid for sensitive or fine hair. Um, this is Daveness. I think I'm saying that wrong. I will link this product down below as well, but this is just like a, it's kind of like a little foaming mousse kind of thing. I'll just take I guess that amount and I rub it through my roots and then I bring it down and I will say this product really moves and grooves with heat um, so when I use my blow dryer to style my bangs it just helps everything hold more and it just kind of goes and does what I'm asking it to do a lot better when I use the styling cream which has also been a really huge help in actually like training my bangs I will say training, I feel like it's the hardest part when you get bangs because like my hair constantly wants to just fall to its original part. And I also like, because I'm a nurse, like I throw my hair in headbands and stuff a lot for that in the gym. So I don't always have my bangs down, which is my fault. Now that that is all in and everything, I like to use this dry bar brush. Um, I don't remember the size of this. I like to just take my face framing ones and kind of just like bring them out. Sometimes too, it's easy if you use like the bottom end. And my recently, um, my hairstylist just told me to just do like a couple loose ones right here because that will want to hold better than um, if I tried to do like really tight ringlets or anything because that's just not the style of hair I have. I have just a wave, so she said. Okay, so this I think is the side that styles better for me, but you know, it's all trial and error. Every day on how my hair wants to treat me is different to be honest. Okay, cool. So there's those. So just give me a base shape for those bad boys. And then I use my Eva NYC blow dryer. Tay just got me this for my birthday because she hated my other blow dryer. And I love it. And what I like to do is, I'll put these behind my ear for now. But I like to take just my brush and then I put it on high heat, which works better for my hair. I think if you have thin hair or like blonder hair or anything like that, you should probably do a lighter heat. And then I do it on the low setting, unless I'm in a hurry, I'll do the high. But we need a hurry today, baby. And what I like to do is I'll blow dry it all this way and then I'll blow dry it all this way and then I'll start kind of forming it down. Um, so I'll just show you guys kind of how I do that. those pieces I put aside so I'm just kind of helping them refine their shape 
All right, so that's what my bangs look like once they are first dried. And then the one of my favorite things that my hair says Kelsey taught me is for that more like fringy, like where it kind of flows out, like kind of like that more retro look. Um, she said to take my thumbs and kind of put in pressure this way and pull my hair outwards and upwards, if that makes sense. Um, and that kind of just helps my bangs go in the direction that I'm kind of wanting out of that. And then we can get back to the other part of my hair. Um, so I'll just take that clip out, re kind of scrunch everything. Um, okay, so now we're back where we started. We just have some dry bangs and there's that. Normally I'm comfortable just walking away and leaving this as that. If I don't want to go outside with a wet head or if I want more volume or I just want to dry my hair and I have more time and energy and whatever to do so, I will get my blow dryer and put my diffuser on it. Um, and then I do it on low again. I still keep high heat, but I just kind of put my hair in and kind of just like follow the scrunch and then I'll turn it back on. And then while it's on, I will hold up my hair up here. So that way the air pulling, I can try and give my hair like more volume if that makes sense. You see how much volume that like gives? It's like the coolest thing ever. This is like my favorite way of doing my hair that she's ever taught me. Okay, and then we'll go in more for the back end. And then I'll do the same back here. I also turn my blow dryer off as I'm bringing it down so that way it's not like blowing my hair everywhere and causing like a whole messy frizz situation. And now we'll just switch to this side. This side is the side I definitely struggle with. <laughs> I feel like everyone has like a side that's like, whether it's fucking mascara, or my eyelashes, or my hair, I just feel like there's always one side that just doesn't do it for me. Okay. But... To be honest, I don't really know how long I hold it for. I just, I just, you know, I don't know. I don't really have ad an advice on how long to hold it. I feel like just like maybe a like 30 seconds ish to a minute maybe. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay, then we'll go in through the back. Alright, and then I'll just keep repeating that process and scrunch in between until my hair kind of gets to a point where I like it and then I'll continuously kind of just come in and try and like bring this part out. And then another thing as far as like bangs and styling like these like bangs and frame pieces that she taught me is to pinch and like move them and like kind of do like that. I don't know how else to explain that other than like pinching and I like pinch and rub and that can kind of just help them find their place. This side is just not doing what I want it to do. Normally at that point, I'm just like, fuck it, whatever. However it falls, it falls. I feel like with this hair, no matter how it kind of ends up laying, I just kind of like how it looks no matter what. But this side is just always my problem side. Okay, if you are really needing your hair to fall a certain way, I just want it to look the way I'm trying to show you guys how I do it. And it's just being frustrating. Why wouldn't it be the one time I decide to make a video? She just doesn't want to vibe with me. Okay, I'll just hold that there. High heat, low setting. Okay. There we go. That's better. There we go. All right. I would keep diffusing if I want it more dry. I'm okay with this. Like it's not dry enough to where it's like uncomfortable or dripping or I like would feel uncomfortable going outside with, 
but it is a really comfortable dryness. So I'm okay with it air drying the rest of the way. But that's kind of just how that turns out. And then if you're newer with bangs and you want them to stay or if they're parting really badly or whatnot, I recommend just doing a nice light dose of hairspray. I like to do like this so I don't get like it all over my face and I don't like, I've done it before where I've actually got it like them stuck to my eyelashes. So don't, don't do that. Um, but I would just spray that. I don't want any hairspray in my hair and my bangs hold fine now that I've trained them and have been working with my hair a little bit longer. But these are my two favorite brands. I love the Sheriff Medium Hold Hairspray. I think this leaves a nice texture that I enjoy and it smells good. And then my other favorite brand, I really, really, really love Living Proof. If you want volume or anything, they have a really great volume shampoo that I am obsessed with. And then they have this Flex Hairspray that really helps shape and hold your hair. And then I also recommend a texture spray. I think a texture spray also really helps just give your hair a good hold and everything. Um, but yeah, that's how I style my hair. If you don't have a natural wave and you are wanting to achieve kind of a look like this, I have two separate barrels that I will share with you guys that I really love. Um, my first one being this Conair or Conair. I don't really know how you pronounce it. Um, I got this from Amazon. I will link it down below. I believe this is a one inch barrel. Works great, works wonders. It heats up really fast. You have the different settings on it. And then it also has like a turbo mode. So it gets warm really fast. And I'll just take small pieces and I just go every which way in smaller pieces. Um, and then um, I can do like a how I curl my hair video for you guys as well. But I just try to make it follow what naturally it would follow if I want to do that. Or if I want this hairstyle without like a natural looking wave and I want like an actual curl with it, I will just do my curls like the normal way that I do curls. Again, like I can share a video on how I curl my hair with that. And then if I do want like a bigger wave or more bounce, I like this one. I homie needs to be replaced. This is a pro beauty tool. Um, it's nice because this bottom part kind of moves around with you and then I broke off the top. This poor thing, I need a new one, but I love this freaking curler. This one might be a two inch barrel. I'm not really sure. I will give you guys just like a little size comparison there. Um, if I can find it, I will link it down below. I think I got both of these when I first got them from Target and then the Conair one, I was not able to find at Target when I went back to replace my old one because my old one broke. Um, but I ended up finding the exact same one, same color, shape and everything on Amazon. So I will have those all linked below and let me know if you guys want um, like a how I curl my hair video. I am so, so happy sharing any type of hair kind of content. I really love my hair. I love styling hair. Um, I lost a lot of confidence when I got seborrheic dermatitis and I feel like I've just found a lot of more confidence and stuff in my hair. I do also have a hair care video um, somewhere on my channel. I believe I filmed it like this time last year when I had a lot shorter hair and I was blow drying it out a lot and stuff like that. I use basically all the same products, all the same techniques and everything. Um, now I just switch in Living Proof's full volume shampoo and conditioner if I'm styling my hair and want more volume and stuff. But yeah, other than that, that's how I style my hair. I hope you guys found this helpful. I was trying to do like a little walkthrough way instead of like a more aesthetic, you know, styling video way. But I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you guys, if you get this haircut, you enjoy it. I think it's so fun. You could do so much with it. I can style my bangs in different ways for different vibes that I'm looking for. So I can do like more of the retro vibes or if I do like a cute ponytail, I feel like I still have this like cute little bang style and I just really love it. I'm obsessed. It is like, I don't think I'll ever do anything else different with my hair. Like this is the most confident and happiest I've ever been with my hair, with a haircut, with the length and everything. And it's just super, super easy to style and stuff for me. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If I need to redo this or if this was not clear at all, please let me know. I will try to answer any other questions below and I will try to figure out a way to answer other questions maybe in other vlogs or ways that I can show you how I style and do it. Um, and then as far as training goes, literally just trying to style them as much as you can because once your hair starts falling in a certain way, it'll train that way. And then as far as sleeping goes, I have a really hard time sleeping with my bangs down with skincare products because it gets all oily and I just don't like my hair sticking to my face. So what you can do is you can take, um, when you're training, especially trying to get rid of the middle part, you can take one and then pin it this way. And then I'm trying not to 
ruin my hair. And then you can take one and pin it that way. Um, and then that way it's kind of crossing over and then it'll start kind of holding and coming close to cold doing that. Or if you kind of want um, more of the hold to start training like this way, which I do a lot of times is I will spread my hair like this and then I'll pin it like that. If you guys can see that. Um, I just use those like little plastic slash like metal like clips. I'll link them down below. Um, and they're not supposed to like leave creases in your hair or anything. Um, but yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Live your best shaggy life. I support it. I'm here for it. And yeah, love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video.